In matting operations, we often need to combine different masks, mats, alphas with each other. And to do so, we use an operation, a merge operation. Now, I've got this shape there and that shape there using just simple rectangle nodes. I've blurred the corners. And by blurring the corners, I've given myself some nice grayscales there. OK, the default merge is an over. Now I'm not going to cover all the different blend mode operations. It'll take too long. And for a, in this particular job, when you are merging two channels, uh, two, two alphas in this, in this way, there's only a couple of blend modes that you'll need. And I'll just demonstrate them. So first, I think what we can do is zoom in, pull that up there. OK. Now, OK, so the default is over. Now, a Photoshop favorite you might be familiar with is screen. And that uh, is, is kind of a relative to multiply. In fact, it's, it's an inverted multiply, sort of. And that looks pretty good. You'll notice the difference between the default over and screen. You'll notice it in particular if you look at the corners, the edges, uh, the corners, just around there. So over again, screen. Let's just zoom out. You can notice it even more if we play around with our, our gamma. I'm doing something called a, a, a gamma slam. You'll notice as I pull it right over here, it actually looks OK. And, and the gamma is just redistributing the, uh, the, 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 the gray points. It's turning uh, what was a mid-gray into a black or a white. So you'll notice at this end, though, it looks a little bit horrible around that end. Oh. OK, so I'll reset that and that. And I'll go over to a different one. Let's try. Uh, we've done screen. Let's try max. Now that's interesting. Look at the difference. I'll just turn that down a bit. Look at the difference from max to screen. Let's see if I can get that a little bit easier to look at. Here we go. OK. So you'll notice that the values are actually building up at this point. It's looking at the values between the two shapes and it's operating between them to produce a higher value. Whereas with max, those two values meet perfectly with a nice sh sharp line. Uh, it's, it's looking at the, the two sets of values saying, well, which is the greatest? And uh, neither of them, oh, they're, they're both equal values, so they both produce this nice uh, linear uh, line of change. So that's max. Again, let's set that to our default. And max is perfect for for uh, merging two, two white areas, we can go for a min. And that's taking the minimum value. So in other words, it's, it's taking the, the black that was outside here, there and there. It's declaring those relative shapes to be the minimum. Um, let's just go back to max if you see what I mean. Back to min. You see, it's just chopping off those outside shapes. Uh, it's it's looking at the two sets of values and saying, well, which is the the, the smallest? Whichever the smallest is, I'll take that. Uh, and there are others as well. What else have we got? We've got. Um, let's see now. From. Exclusion. We've got all these kind of various others, which you might occasionally find a, a, a use for. 
but for the most part a min or a max will serve your your mask and mat combining needs.